beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Your cards are going wild. I'm really happy to be here channeling for you today and I'm very happy you're here with me. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot Reading. All Signs love tarot reading. All Signs love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, All Signs love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. This is a love reading for the collective. It's a timeless reading. It's a faded connection. You're here when you're meant to be here. So welcome again. It means there's a message here for you, perhaps messages. Remember, this is a general reading. So look at this. So take what resonates, let the rest go. If you ever feel messages are coming in, vice versa, then that's how it is. That's how you're meant to receive messages. And oftentimes you will pick up and receive messages that I'm not even bringing through that you're just picking up through the tarot or messages that, yeah, that, e that I, even I'm not going to be able to bring forward to you. Anyway, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you very much. I want to show you what's going on. Look, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So somebody is coming in here with an offer. At least they're saying that they're ready for commitment now. So perhaps you were already committed in a committed connection, a committed relationship. You were working towards something long term or it was on the table. It's definitely back. Somebody's coming back in here. This is a prince princess. Charming energy with some kind of proposal. Of course, this is around the love. It's also around a lot of emotional energy. What are they bringing in here? Two knights. I'm going to get this last cut deck, and then we're going to see what is going on here in your reading today. There's a card that is turned over and this came out with it. The Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Okay, that's really <laughs> interesting. Why was that turned over? And we didn't even see that this whole time shuffling. Okay, anyway. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Somebody's getting some clarity. Yeah, we saw that in the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups coming here saying that they're ready. Ready to continue, ready to start. Partnership placement is the Ten of Wands. It looks a lot more like continuing here. No contact, no communication, and or in separation. So it's a new cycle coming. Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. Yeah, it's, it's the end of a cycle. It's the completion of that cycle, and it's a renewal coming here. What are they clear about? How they feel, what they want to do, what they want to offer? Because they're coming in here with a pentacle and a cup. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. The Ace of Pentacles. The Prince of Cups is back. The Ten of Pentacles. The Prince of Discs is back too, and that's too many. The Hierophant is where your person's energy is the strongest. The Six of Wands. The Emperor. Wow. Yeah, so Aries and Mars energy, your person has been holding back how they feel and what they want. Look what is where their energy is the strongest. It's the Hierophant. Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Look at this doubling up here of the divine masculine energy. Yeah, there's definitely some ego and shadow that's involved here in particular around hiding some emotions. It could be for some of you, you're dealing with an older man. It doesn't mean that you are, but it is here. This Hierophant energy, this is a card of commitments, partnerships, long-term contracts. Can't even be marriage here. The Prince of Cups and the Prince of Pentacles both came back. And look what is in the middle of them. It's the Ten of Pentacles here with the Ten of Wands. So were you in a long-term connection again? Were you building up a partnership were you already there? Was it on the table? It's definitely on the table and look. So here is the thought and then here they have the pentacles saying they're ready now. 
Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. So this is this is an offer for sure. This is an offer. It's a long-term offer. And again, whether you were in a long-term connection or you were building it, it's on the table. They're clear what they want. They, they're clear what they're doing here. I want to show you this was just falling off what something is coming with it. Okay. It's the Eight of Swords in reverse and judgment. Wake up energy is big time here. I was just about to head over here to the Ace of Swords, Gemini. And this is also just kind of, the, okay, so those are both falling off. Hermit energy, bottom of the deck. We're going to look some more in just a moment. And we're going to look at those as well. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. So the clarity, what they want, what they want to do, really both here. And it's really validated here in judgment. Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions. Get some clarity. What do you want? Make a decision. Wake up. What do you want? What are you doing with your life? What are you doing in this connection? What do you want? Well, we see the clarity is loud and clear, which is giving them some ideas of what to do, of how to get what they want. Long-term energy is incredibly strong here in the Hierophant. This can also be around, you know, the other connections, I want to say. A lot of expectations, traditions, conformity around the Hierophant energy. So other contracts, other partnerships, which of course can be romantic, but we're talking money, work, other people perhaps that are involved either directly or indirectly listening to other people, cultural, religious, spiritual differences, whatever. I mean, that's definitely here. And you can see in the minor arcana energy of the Eight of Swords in reverse Jupiter and Gemini energy that they were a little stuck. They put themselves here. The Eight of Swords are just kind of, well, yeah, it's like the separation energy, holding back from the connection. This is Jupiter energy. That's the planet of expansion and prosperity growth, moving forward, having hope, and a little bit around luck too, some timing. They put themselves here also just not, just really stuck in their head. Also not communicating. It's in reverse here. This is a freeing energy. So whatever may have been keeping them from this long-term connection, either you were in building or was on the table, I feel is being freed up. They've been in this hermit energy for how long? Mercury and Virgo energy, getting some clarity, some truth on a quest literally for spiritual illumination. What do they want? It's clear what they want, pun intended here, both in the Ace of Swords and of course in this judgment energy. This is a 20. It's coming to a two. It's the decision and it's balancing out divine feminine and divine masculine energies so they can be truthful and clear with themselves so they can be Make a clear decision and be truthful and clear with you. The Prince of Cups is back. The Prince of Pentacles is back. That's the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, making a decision around this connection, of course. Infinity, the renewal, that's also connected to Libra and the truth. It's right here underneath the Ace of Pentacles, underneath the Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords in reverse. So whatever they've been kind of grappling with around your connection, this long-term energy, again, whether you were already in a committed partnership, you were working toward it, or it was on the table, there is an energy of coming back together and freeing themselves up here for it. It's incredibly clear getting ready to make a move this divine masculine energy of the emperor who pretty much gets <laughs> the emperor goes for what they what they want and gets it the six of wands coming in here jupiter and leo energy so it's more jupiter energy and this is coming in wanting to work things out this is coming in wanting to make peace look they have in their little foot they have an olive branch here is a nest Again, so were you building a life? Had you built a life? Was it on the table? They're coming in here. Look, they're rolling the dice. And the Six of Wands, this is Jupiter energy, and that is connected to some luck, I want to say, which is connecting us also to the Jupiter energy of the Wheel of Fortune, of a turning point. It's kind of like gambling. So they're, 
yeah, I don't know what's going on with you. We need to dig in here, but it's like they're, I don't, they're ready to take this chance. Are you ready? That's what I'm hearing. Are you ready? Where are you in this? They're ready to come in here and make some peace and take a chance. Again, this nest is representing, for some of you, an actual dwelling. But this is just the life that you were either building, had built, or wanted to build here. A messenger rising above some conflicting energy, some challenges, some obstacles. Really wanting to make this happen. Connecting here with the Emperor and the long-term energy of the Hierophant because it's also an energy of needing to Needing to repair some things, you know The connection so it can be that this is in person for some of you. It can be phone calls messages SMS email, whatever But it really is coming here strong. It's coming in strong with the Emperor who really wants to Make it clear what, what they have to say to you and what has been overcome here. And it feels a lot like around the commitment. So whether it was just commitment issues or it's something much bigger, I feel like it's a lot bigger. And again, it can be around other connections or other things like money or work or distance. People that have been, again, directly or indirectly involved. And of course, it can involve other romantic connections right here with the eight of swords the freeing energy eight is an action number it's also connected to some karma so working something out here and again that's infinity for some of you that's around your twin flame it's not for everybody twin flame journey for sure but it is here for those of you that are and by the way there are really long in-depth twin flame readings below if you want to go check those out and get readings really tailored toward you <laughs> tailored toward you excuse me but this is really clear. Look at this wake up energy here. The thought that Ace of Pentacles and coming here with the Prince of Discs. This is the Knight of Pentacles with this offer here. Look at this long term energy. And I really want to see what's going on. So the moon. Whoa. <laughs> we have the moon. Look, and we have the Empress too. So this is real clear. Long term energy is really incredibly strong here. Your connection to very strong personalities that when things are working, they are working. And when they're not, it's intense. Some power struggle energy. The Empress is coming in here and making this happen. Creating and growing abundance. New beginnings. Holding on to that scepter, which can grow anything. She's the leader of the 12 signs. She has access to all, all the elements, of course. Water, air, earth, and fire. Coming in here, bringing in this emperor a lot softer, I feel, emotionally available, really wanting to start this up again, be honest with you. And here is the balance that I felt is coming, but it's a validation. The balancing of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies to be clear with themselves, to be clear with you. They are clear. They're, it's the wake up energies here. The balancing of the energies, to be honest, they're ready. They're ready. Are you ready? Are you still here? It's divine, divine timing, communication, growth, divine feminine energy, of course. Taurus energy, also Libra coming in. Venus energy, the planet of love coming here with the moon. The emotional energy between you, opening up and communicating in a new way. A lot of the things that have been hidden around the emotions, around this connection, because that full moon is the, the subconscious, of course, everything that's been hiding. So it's everything coming up. It's illuminating everything that needs to be dealt with here. And a, a lot of it, of course, around this emotional energy, but this is communicating in a, in a really new way. I do feel that your person has been holding back emotionally, Emotional vulnerability, emotional availability, communication. This, again, it's like a softening energy here coming in to communicate in an honest way and in an emotionally available way. Communicate about what? An offer or a, a continuation, you know? I don't imagine somebody's coming right in holding a pentacle, maybe something of that sort. It feels more like it's just coming together and making these decisions because I think there's, I'm feeling that there's a really strong 
alignment going on here in the hermit energy, Virgo and Mercury energy, where you both have been. Because right as you get out of the hermit energy and receive this clarity, which we see is going on here, you're jumping right into that Wheel of Fortune energy, which already made its way in here, that Jupiter energy, a turning point. Fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Timing. A new beginning. Your destinies are intertwined. Some of you may have known your person for many years, many, many years, even to childhood, can also just feel that way. It's a really deep soulmate connection here. And it's kind of getting kicked off, I want to say, around communicating first. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands right here in the partnership placement. The end of what's the end of no contact, no communication, and I feel separation and or in separation. But I feel it's really strong for a lot of you. This is kind of everything. But what does that mean for you too? It could also be for some of you, it is just communicating again. Whatever the case is, it's the end of where you were. It's a renewal here. It's deducing into a one. It's the potential. It's strong. It's really just putting all the, the burdens and the stress around it down in this Ten of Wands connecting with this wake up energy, receiving the message from Archangel Gabriel here and heading for or back to this ton of pentacles. Very long-term energy here between this emperor and this empress. You're both here, both here for it. So it's a balancing of the energies around your person, but you're both here. And again, this is not about gender, but the long-term energy, look at this. It's incredibly clear. Putting those wands down and opening up. Also the Ace of Swords connecting with that moon energy. This is the clarity. What that, so that's what the clarity is, how they feel. Wanting to be honest, wanting to come and tell you how they feel. Really wanting to reinvigorate, restart things. I feel there's a really strong friendship here too. So there's something there. Well, yeah, that needs to get worked out. A lot of hurt. The clarity coming in. The communicating in a new way, sharing of feelings, emotional vulnerability, emotional availability, and coming here and communicating around this Ten of Pentacles too. So this long-term energy, which I feel has been on everybody's mind, we see this Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups both came back again. So what is in that cup? The truth, how they feel, and there is an offer here. And I want to tell you how they feel is incredibly strong. Look what is right here. So this is a horse full of a lot of humility. So there is an apology here. This is also pushing through the obstacles. We see that here coming here to make peace, holding up this olive branch. So that's incredibly important, I feel, because the emperor and the empress energy can get really like, <laughs> you know, really intense. And somebody's needed to hold up the flag and cry uncle, and it's around your person's energy. You can be resonating in, in the way of divine feminine, divine masculine energies, of course, if you consider yourself one or the other, but it's not about that. You know, we all have those energies within us, but you're both here. And they are holding up the flag. They are making their first move. This octopus coming from the deep, they live at the very bottom, the deepest part of the ocean. It's coming up here, bringing with it a lot of very deep feelings, a lot of emotional energy coming through here. So pushing through some karma, some obstacles, coming here with an apology, coming here with how they feel, communicating and opening up in a new way, coming here with a pentacle to either resume the Ten of Pentacles or get this started or go back in there. Again, everybody has been here, I feel, in this hermit energy. Are you still there? Nine of Cups. Two of Pentacles. In hey guys, sorry about that. This camera's going to make me crazy. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Swords. And King of Cups, the Magician. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Wheel of Fortune. Bottom of the deck, the chariot. Yeah, this is really clear. Cancer and moon energy. This is the movement. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Timing is playing a really big part in this connection. 
who's ready, who's not. That's really strong for me today, that somebody has been, your person has been coming in here from the get-go saying, I'm, I'm ready now. I know what I want. I know what I want. I want you. I'm ready to make the first move. I'm ready to tell you the truth. I'm ready to share how I feel. Wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. Coming here also, look, well, we have the Nine of Cups coming here twice, putting us into the Ten of Cups. We also have the King of Cups putting us into the Ten of Cups. Building a life together. Going back in and rebuilding it. Putting it back on the table for some of you Perhaps it's blending families, introducing families, and there is the Wheel of Fortune energy, which has been really strong in your reading today. The turning point, the Jupiter energy, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius are here. Interesting, because they are fixed signs. They don't really like change. So there is something here for some of you. It may even be around what's going on in this Two of Pentacles in reverse, which could also definitely be connected to this Hierophant energy. So this can be just literally an inability to commit, struggling with commitment, can also be around some overwhelming energy of whatever's been going on in the Hierophant energy, perhaps choosing something over the connection, money, other people, a job. And timing, I'm feeling two of swords is what I'm being shown, that there's maybe some kind of compromise for some of you, is it around relocation or or the next level in the connection maybe for some of you even a family maybe some disagreements around that whether it's your particular little family potential little family or family of origin that won't be for everyone but it is coming through this wheel of fortune energy is incredibly strong today because it's been coming in by the way that is capricorn and saturn energy the King of Cups is also not surprising because the clarity and how they feel and opening up is incredibly strong and look. So here's what's really interesting about this King of Cups, Pisces energy. By the way, more Pisces energy here in the Nine of Cups, the Magician, the Three of Swords, we'll talk about them more in just a moment, is they've been holding back and we know that here with the Emperor. So this is also a validation that they are struggling with some ego. They have been and it's really incredibly clear, the Empress and the Empress here. So there has been a lot of headbutting going on. And they are overcoming, coming out of the ego, coming out of that shadow energy and revealing the feelings that they've been hiding. So I don't know if it, I don't think it's just as simple as I'm not sharing how I feel. It's just like holding it back because there have been some power struggles and maybe changing their mind here, not getting something their way. So there's just been this kind of impasse, I feel like, between you. They're just giving in. <laughs> this is like a giving in energy for me. You know, they've been, they've been suppressing and repressing their feelings, and this is not being able to do that anymore. It's coming out of what that emperor energy has been doing. I mean, you can quite literally see it here also in the chariot energy. That is the action. That's around your journey. And this is also a balancing of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies in the Sphinx in order to get through the obstacles also around themselves to come here and make some peace, make the first move back. Coming up with the answer to the riddles to get them out, <laughs> move, the obstacles moved and get this chariot moving. It's around timing and a lot of that I feel like is around ego, but it can be around other things again in that Hierophant energy, other people or things, locations, money, work, cultural, religious, spiritual differences, direct or indirect involvement from other people. It's overcoming that here. It's incredibly strong in the feelings. So that's a lot of the clarity. How do you feel? What do you want? Because Archangel Gabriel, this judgment energy, is literally asking, what do you want? Wake up. Make a decision here. So go back in there. Air it all out. Get clear with yourself. Get honest with yourself and go there and bring the truth and some clarity. Also, what do you, there's forgiveness. They're asking for forgiveness as well. Reconciliation. Reconciliation. Reconciliation 
or closure, it feels a lot like reconciliation here. It's really airing everything out. You're both here for it. It's, it's clear, <laughs> pun intended, that you're both here for it. This is reconciliation. I mean, look at this. This is a validation. The Three of Swords, Saturn and Libra energy, that there has been a lot of heartbreak here. Loss. For some of you, in connection in particular with the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant and the Emperor and the Empress, it can be that there is a legal separation or there is some marriage involved in some form. You know, Emperor and Empress energy for me is like an old married couple energy. It doesn't mean you are. <laughs> it's just that energy of... Yeah, somebody just needed to, somebody needs to, I should say, make their first move. And we see it. It's a strong validation. And they're coming in here quite, I feel humble. They're coming in here with humility. Emotionally available. Still struggling a little bit with that ego, but not a whole lot. The Magician, the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Jupiter and Pisces energy around this Jupiter energy. The planet also here in the Wheel of Fortune, which has been coming in a lot. The planet of prosperity and expansion, the hope and the wisdom, getting this turning, the energetic movement here, of course. It's the cycles of life. This is coming into your destiny, I feel, together. And again, around some timing, wishes coming true, abundance. Connecting here also with the Magician, the Renewal, there it is. As above, so below. Manifesting soulmate energy, this Emperor literally going for what they want. I mean, look at this, it's incredibly clear. The Chariot, the Magician, the Emperor, the Chariot. Clearly coming here and going for what they want. And again, it's not about gender, but this Divine Masculine energy is a leader, wants, likes, to get, likes to get what they want, you know? And that's partly why I think it's amongst other things too, commitment, other things. But it's a big part of the reason I feel like there's just been like a stand, standstill, standoff kind of energy. Yeah, this is the wish, wish is coming true energy around this Wheel of Fortune. And the Magician here, Gemini Virgo energy, Mercury energy, taking this inspired action. Of course, like the Empress, another level here, accessing all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, with that added element of being able to alchemize everything that happened, alchemizing the past, the present, and setting things up for the future. So this is real clear, and I think you're here for it. This is really what you've been waiting for. The King of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, all in alignment here. Today I'm going to bring in some channeled love messages, tarot closet, no oracle today, channeled song messages as well. No, I am not over you, we know. I'm captivated by you. I think of you so much that I see you everywhere I go. I've fallen in love many times, but always with you. I spy on you, Page of Swords energy. It can can be things like social media, you know, but it can also be just talking to other people, maybe even some Googling, however you're connected or able to be connected, I want to say. I am so sorry. That Three of Swords energy. Please know you are perfect to me. It's a little bit of begging energy. We are a faded connection. That's the Wheel of Fortune. And it's been incredibly strong. Throughout your reading, I was a complete jerk. Eight of Swords in reverse. I do feel like they initiated that of not talking. Possibly, yeah, leaving physically. Or just the separation, you know. 
Okay, that's too many. But this is sticking out and this is sticking out. So those are the last. Oh, that's it. I cannot sleep since you've gone. I loved you once. I love you still. I always have. I always will. I want to grow old with you. Emperor, Empress, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups, King of Pentacles, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles, the Clarity in the Ace of Swords, the Massive Confirmation, Major Arcana Clarity of Judgment, Wish Fulfillment, the Nine of Cups, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, I want to grow old with you. I'm ready, this is what I've just been hearing throughout your entire reading. I'm ready now, I'm ready again, I'm ready, I, that, I'm coming, I'm ready. Our souls are forever connected. Please forgive me. It's really strong energy. Connecting here with the Ace of Swords, the Moon energy, and the King of Cups, who's coming in here also with the Empress in a much more emotionally vulnerable, open, available way and being honest about that. Channeled song messages. It can be songs that you resonate with, that are yours. It can be songs you don't know, you've never heard of, you don't like. That's okay. There's always a sentiment in a song. And there are always going to be things within a song or within the reading that you connect with that I just don't even pick up on. Look at this. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know. I don't know. You stick around now, it may show. I don't know, I don't know. The Beatles, something, George Harrison. I feel your energy here because I have been, I feel that you're here, but a little bit more, a little more stepped back than what's coming through with your person here. I guess I'm lying to myself. Here they are. It's just you and no one else. I miss you, the Rolling Stones. So things are gonna start getting covered. Those are yours. That's it. Let's look at the bottom of the deck first. Love of my life, love of my life. Love of my life, Queen Freddie Mercury. Yeah, that's really strong energy. I'm gonna wait on, no, nope, these are what, are what I'm wanting to come through first. There's nothing we can't overcome if you let me be your only one. There's nothing we can't overcome if you let me be your only one, united together, Aretha Franklin. So what? what is that? You know, was it another romantic connection? Is it choosing money or work, even family of origin, cultural religious differences, differences in where you are? Because the timing issue is strong for me here. And the kind of choosing something over the connection, but not... Now, not. Someday, somewhere, we'll find a new way of living. We'll find a way of forgiving somewhere Barbara Streisand. Connecting with the Wheel of Fortune. The mere idea of you. The longing here for you. You'll never know how slow the moments go till I'm near to you. I see your face in every flower. Your eyes and stars above. It's just the thought of you. The very thought of you, my love. The very thought of you, Tony Bennett, written by Ray Noble. Love of my life, don't leave me. Love of my life, Queen Freddie Mercury, it's back. It's back. Something here with the spying energy that they're seeing or hearing that's that maybe you have, I don't know, Moving on energy or just getting quiet or something here that's making them afraid that they waited too long. When there's no getting over that rainbow, when my smallest of dreams won't come true, I can take all the madness the world has to give, but I won't last a day without you. I won't last a day without you. The Carpenters, written by Paul Williams. Going here with the King of Cups. Your last channel, oh my gosh. Song message. You will remember when this is blown over and everything's all by the way. When I grow older, I will be there at your side to remind you how I still love you. I still love you. Love of my life, Queen, Freddie, Mer Freddie Mercury. It's three times here. The energy of the Emperor and the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles and 
judgment, the chariot, the magician, everything here is incredibly clear. You are the love of their life and they don't want to lose you. I want to bring in last some little itty bitty tarot closet love messages. Then we're going to close your reading today. I want to kiss you. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit too much for me to pass through, pass on. You are my first thought when I wake up and last thought before sleep. That's too many. That's not. Don't ever change. This magician energy is, you know, going for and getting what you want, manifesting that energy, soulmate energy. It's strong. That's the emperor who gets what they want. I'm hiding my true feelings. Yes, that's the energy that had been coming through or has been coming through, but that's changing. I am so lost without you. I really feel this today. I care too much what people think. So there we go. Directly or indirectly, some other involvement here. Hierophant energy, which is where their energy is the strongest. Where the, where the energy is, I should say. That's it. I will never give up on us. I really want to hold you. Please never give up on us. I will never give up on us. Please never give up on us. It's all piled here on the Empress. Please wait for me because they're also coming in here with that energy, with that divine feminine giving energy, being honest, speaking the truth, emotionally available and open, really wanting to reignite this long-term energy. Whether you had built it, were building it, or it was on the table. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self coming through today. My heart is kind of beating fast. I'm just, <laughs> I feel like it's going to beat out of my chest. Will you wait for me? Timing is just really big here. That wheel of fortune, it's buried, but we know it's there and it was here before. It showed itself before it even came. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed your reading. I hope that you did too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. I'm sending so much love and so much light your way, hoping for the best outcome for you. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, take care.